at first he was telling me how to pay 70, 80,000. I said, you bought a medical insurance, is 1.5 million, you worry about the bill. Let me worry about the bill, you go and worry about your leg. This guy, huh, this one very funny. This guy, his agent, normal lah, missing action lah. Then when he was 55, he wants to buy a new medical card because the old one is really bad. It was HS90, 90, 90 ringgit a day, and it pays only like 19,000 a year. That kind of medical insurance. So when I see him, I went and uh, say, hey, your medical insurance is really old, you have to do something. So said, what to do? You know, what can you do? So I offered him something and he told. So we became friends after that. I know he was rec recognized. Uh, introduced three years four years after he, he bought the medical insurance i saw that he cannot walk properly and i asked him brother what's wrong with you what is wrong with your leg he told me very painful or cannot walk then throughout the year he slowly deteriorated cannot walk up the stairs then i told him you know what i really need to drag you to see a doctor you cannot be like that because by the time you drag on, you will be on wheelchair. So I brought him to see, and uh, I brought him with him. I mean, I recommended somebody for him to see. Then he decided to do a knee replacement surgery. At first in Taiwan, of course, when he said he wanted to do it in Taiwan, uh, AI supported that, no problem. But then COVID happens, <laughs> he decided to do back in Sunway. So he do back in Sunway is easier for me to do, ma. No need to do all the translation, Taiwan, Malaysia. When he did that in, Malay in Malaysia for a four-year, five-year policy, replaced both knee, and today he walks like a champion. I'm so proud to see him walk normally. He, every time I go to the office last time, he used to go up slowly, slowly, because he's only 57, 58. How could he just not walk properly again? But I'm so happy to see him this few weeks, uh, these past months, and I saw him walk up the staircase without holding the rail. That's real true happiness to be able to tell him, don't worry about the bills. At first, he was telling me how to pay 70, 80,000. I said, you bought a medical insurance, is 1.5 million, you worry about the bill. Let me worry about the bill, you go and worry about your leg. And we got that done for him. And today, his leg is titanium. <laughs> Part and parcel of his knee is titanium. He always say he's not bionic because part and part of his knee is titanium. I'm so happy that we have managed to help so many people throughout you know, our career and really get these people you know, on their right way and solve their financial issues and get them healthy again. So the bills came up to 58,000 in total. Not easy, huh? knee replacement. The 58,000 doesn't stop there. There's still another 10, 15,000 or what we call physiotherapy. Six months, eight months. But all paid for, lah, no issue. So, what I want to tell you is this. This is the follow-up claims, about 10,000. Be calm, don't worry and be happy. What I want to tell you is that uh, when it comes to claims and all these things, there are three, three parties I want to talk to. Number one, the clients. The insurance company, the insurance industry is nearly 100 years old in Malaysia, well governed by Bank Negara. Don't worry, the insurance company will cheat you, it will not cheat you. You know, a lot of clients say, I don't believe in insurance. Come on, insurance is not a religion, you don't have to believe in one. Because insurance will turn out well if you pay your premiums, if you sign on the dotted line. Second to the agents, if you cannot service your client, please quit. But if you can service your client, you will do very well in our business. Thirdly, to the insurance company, thank you so much. I know it is not easy to be an insurance company. A lot of people thought insurance company, wow, so glamorous. You come and do. <laughs> you try and come and do. I just finished two days of CEO and CEO meeting with all the insurance, the six top insurance company in Malaysia as country chair of MDRT. After I had a meeting with them, you can see uh, the stress in their eye. The stress to make money for shareholders, yes, but also the stress to make sure all their clients are taken care of. Not easy at all. So I just want to tell all of you, whoever that is in the insurance industry, thank you for what you have done for the nation. Thank you for what you have done for the world. 
And for all the clients who have bought the insurance policy, you bought it because you love, you love your family. And that is so important. So a bit of myself, I'm not a Lone Ranger agent. I'm Lim Ren En, okay, if you can see my name there. Uh, Mei Wong is my long-term staff. She is my customer service manager, office manager. She handles A to Z of customer service and claims. Any claims goes to her. Pui Ling handles general insurance. We do car insurance and all that. If you need, give her a call. call. Melissa handles customer service experience and also new business. So I have three full-time staff and one digital marketing staff. Whatever that you see on screen now, it is handled by our digital guy. <laughs> we got time to do so many things, uh, to look so good, some more, you know. <laughs> all right, thank you to, for, for coming up to the show. I really wish you very well. I just want to say thank you and good night. And I wish you all the best. Uh, take care. Hopefully the second uh, wave doesn't strike us. It will be cleared, right? So thank you very much for coming to the show and I wish you all the best and I'll see you again 